I've seen a lot of those videos on YouTube uh, making uh, two-stroke engines run on uh, basically uh, off a regular air compressor. So I wanted to try to do it uh, using a high-pressure cylinder. Um, so basically, I modified uh, this old mounting stand that I had at the house, bolted this together, and then uh, put a two-stroke engine that I basically found in the garbage uh, to it. Went to AutoZone, got a anti-fouler for uh, normal cars, put a Dash 3 uh, adapter fitting in it so I could use high pressure line. And uh, you just attach it in here and basically that's all it takes. And uh, put the line on it and the high pressure tank and this thing's ready to go. I didn't really like the idea of uh, having to uh, try to kickstart this thing by hand, uh, especially with the high pressure to make sure it's going to work correctly. I didn't want to get my hands in the way, so basically you can see the piston in there, and as it gets up the top dead center, it stops and then starts to go back down. So I just picked a random spot. This boss makes a good uh, place for it, and I made a mark. That's my top dead center mark then crank it around and here's my other mark which is basically right where the top piston ring right before it becomes exposed can you see that in there so that's basically where I want the air to turn off when I convert this to running on a solenoid type setup but for now all you have to do is make sure that it's in this general range and it'll push the piston down and it'll basically fire itself as soon as you open the tank. Now before I get the solenoid and get all the switches working and everything to make that work right, um, I found a program online called Simple Dyno. So what I'm going to do is I took the cover off of here and you can see how that's mounted. It's been used for many other things. I'm going to drill this portion out, I'm going to tap it, put a screw in here, and then I can use that as my uh, pickup point for the mag pickup, and I'm going to see if I can run this, whoops, and get an actual uh, RPM, and uh, can't do horsepower because it doesn't have a load, but get an actual uh, range on the RPM as it revs through, and uh, see what it does. Now if you're going to try to uh, copy this maybe, and you're going to try to drill this hole, instead of uh, you know drilling like this and drilling a hole through your hand, um, just uh, put it back in that front cover backwards and uh, do it that way in case you don't uh, feel like hurting yourself today. Alright, now that I drilled this hole out a little bit, and then... Uh, tapped it. I'm going to use our screw to uh, make a sensor pickup. But since I don't have any Loctite, we're going to substitute and use uh, some super glue. So just throw some on there. Get it in there before it dries. Throw another little drop on the bottom side and let it run down in between the threads. and we should be good. That'll work as a good pickup as it's rotating. All right. <clears throat> so that fits. Clears all the way around. So next what I did is I uh, drilled a big hole in there, the middle of that point, <clears throat> and then drilled and tapped two other holes so I could mount a sensor directly in the middle. So here's my sensor. And now I'm going to stick it and, uh, in here and then uh, do the same uh, thing with the silicone or with the super glue. And on the sensor here, <clears throat> since uh, I needed standoffs, and I'm uh, 
basically trying not to spend a ton of money or a ton of time on this project. Um, I used uh, some hard nylon tube as a substitute for the spacer, which should be fine. So I'll tighten up those screws. Tightened up. And what I'll do is I'll back them out a little bit now so you can see some of the exposed thread on each one. Do the same thing with the super glue just for sport. Okay, so as you can see, that's all set. That's back in there, and as you can see, the the screw head goes right over the top of the middle of that sensor which is pretty much what we need so I should be able to uh, bolt all this stuff back together plug it into uh, the simple dyno program and uh, we should be able to get some uh, RPM readings on this uh, compressed air engine alright now as you can see it's all bolted back together it's all set up you can uh, barely see the sensor down in there and you can see the screw and that'll be my pickup and uh, we have it plugged into the computer here with uh, the simple dyno program which you can download so next what we'll do is we'll watch down here in the bottom of the screen and I'm gonna spin the engine by hand and you see that red line that shows we're getting an RPM pickup as I'm spinning it so I changed the settings here to uh, motor, horsepower, uh, mile per hour, and uh, the torque to uh, inch ounces. So uh, we're going to uh, hook up the high pressure line and uh, give this thing a shot. Alright, we're all hooked up. Just got to make sure to uh, put this in between our marks so it actually uh, moves and just doesn't get stuck. Just spray the gas everywhere. All right, over here on the computer, go click on uh, Power Run. Make up a name. Okay, it says recording. It's got the timeline counting here at the bottom. And uh, let's go for it. See what we got here for uh, data now. So we go over here to okay. You click done because it's done. Done. Analysis. Add file. Air engine test one. Open. And then you click on your graphs here to see what we're doing. So we got reason. Um, let's see here. And let's do, uh, okay, so that's our torque graph, which is all zero. So we had some form of air here. Something freaked out. <clears throat> okay, time to, uh, retry here. I think I know what the problem was. I had the microphone volume up too high so we will try this again and see if we can pull off something a little better here <clears throat> all right camera here and go
Okie dokie. That one looks like it actually worked. So let's see here. Done. Analysis. Oh, clear the old one. Add a file. Okay, test three. Open. All right, what do we got there? We got torque and we got horsepower. And they go down as I added RPM. Check this here. Is that correct here? RPM. So, doesn't make much power, that's for sure. So, uh, good times. We'll see if we can get some more pressure and uh, try it again. Hope you enjoyed it.